Okay, so far so good, then now what? <laughs> so maybe I should start thinking about the hinges. In the previous video, I started building a custom bonnet or hood for my 51 Chevy rat truck. Now it's time to get cracking on building some hinges. <laughs> Coming up. Welcome! <laughs> my name is Duff and you've joined me in my one-man shop out here in the middle of a forest. So let's see what we can do with this piece of one inch flat bar that I found on my steel rack. I'm going to try and bend it here so I get the same curve. Okay, that's the start. I'm going to have to fiddle with it a little bit more. So I've got the two curves to match nicely. And the plan now is to basically let this hinge like that. I think it's going to work. Um, now I've got a dream of some hinges. Let me see what I can find in here. Now this will be perfect. And this. Right, so I must just take this clamp off and then we get to the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha, man, it's working. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. Some of you might remember that guy. <laughs> so I made these rather industrial looking hinges on purpose. And uh, I think I'm going to add a strap like this. Weld it on there and then fasten it through here as well. Just to complete that look. That of course, of course, it will also give my bonnet section quite a bit of stiffness. What do you think? So I'll also add one here on the back. Hinge. 
it runs right across. So we're going to end up with these straps on both sides running right across the bonnet. I know it's not your average <laughs> bonnet in scenario. But hey, we're building a rat rod. There are no rules. So I think it's going to actually look quite interesting. So I now have a half hooded car. <laughs> I still have to dream up something here. But I think before I do that, I better repeat this whole complete exercise on that side. And let's get the whole complete hood in place. So now I've got to do it all again. <laughs> but at least it will go much faster. I now know the program. And there's no further fly-by-night seat of the pants design work involved. I'm just going to use my... Uh, my woodworking marking gauge to get a line here for where I need to cut this. I actually think I do need something like this quite often in my steel working world. I should actually make one from steel at some stage. So I've described a line that's parallel to my hinge support bar. So now I can just cut it along this line so that we get a good fit. Lots of clamps to keep all my pieces in place so I can drill and tap my hinges. So I'm going to drill through the hinge, through the bonnet and through that backing bar below it with the size for my tap to ensure everything lines up perfectly and then afterwards I'll just open up the hole in the hinge itself to suit the bolt. So if you live in the world of metric dimensions and measurements, I've drilled through everything now with a 5mm drill bit. So I can now tap here with an M6 tap to use an M6 little bolt. And then I'll just open these holes to 6mm as well. If you live in the world of inches and feet, I'm sure you all know your sizes because I don't. <laughs> Tapping for an M6 bolt, in the States that would be a quarter inch. I need to get some of those speed taps that you can stick in a drill. So now I should be able to bolt my hinge to the bonnet. I still use the old-fashioned little ratchet here. Yeah? I see some guys have got impact drivers to do this with. I guess I'm still old-fashioned. <laughs> Right, that's nice and tight. These bolts are just temporary. I am going to see if I can find something that's a little bit nicer. But my front hinge is attached. Let me do the back one. That old car standing there in the gloom is making funny noises at me. You are just going to have to be patient. Right, the clamps are all off. Let's see what's going to happen. Awesome. Looking good. Okay. Let's turn this half-hooded car, or truck rather, into something a little bit more complete. If I can get my hinges to fit. <laughs> uh. 
a little struggle it would seem. Okay, that one is in. Aha. That's roughly in place. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Let me just get this clamp out of the way. Something like that. What does it look like? Well, I got to dream of something in the front here now. But we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Let's have a bit of fun here. Yeah. And there. <laughs> Fly for me. <laughs> I tell you, man, there can't be another truck like this one on the planet. Nissan hard body drive train. 51 Chevy cab, custom gullwing hood. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but enough playing now, Duffy. You still got a long way to go before you can call this business finished. So I curved my flat bar a little bit to follow the camber of the bonnet. So I'm just going to line this up here like that now. And I can tack it on there. Peter all my holes and I can take the hinge off to weld it fully and then finally install it. That's just a lump of lead that I sometimes use to keep things in place. That's looking quite smart. Now I can go fit it on the truck. So I don't like the look of these common bolt heads. So what I did was this. I think that looks much better. Looks almost like a rivet of sorts. Don't you think? So I just chuck one of these extension nuts in, in my lathe. And then I'm going to take my M6 bolt and screw it in there a little bit tighten it up <laughs> and now I can round this over with the grinder and a flap disc to get that nice domed head effect I mean if you don't have a lathe it's not a problem you can very easily do this in a drilling machine as well just fasten it in a vise and then do the same thing And that's what my bolt looks like from up close. So I have to make 26 of these little puppies. <laughs> it's a little bit boring, but I think it's worth the trouble. Well, <laughs> I got myself some pretty serious hinges. And they work as well. <laughs> hey man, thanks for spending time with me out here in my forest workshop. And thanks very much. For all the support and the positive comments, I truly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. So until then, have a good one.